Hello oh, guys, it's me WatchJ for you. Welcome on in ladies and gentlemen, and today we're officially playing a bit of Human Fall Flat. But not just a normal version of Human Fall Flat, but we are actually playing the PS5 edition of Human Fall Flat. So if you didn't know, um, recently, about three or four days ago now, at the time of recording, um, Human Fall Flat recently got a PS5 edition of of obviously Human Fall Flat on PS5. So um, for what this feature includes is um, haptic feedback. I know so if you own the game on PS4, you get the free upgrade. So for proof to you that I'm playing it on PS5, as you can see here, there's the little controls there of, and of course the PS5 controller here and there. And also this one does, like I say, it supports um, haptic feedback. So for what the haptic feedback means is basically you're going to have the feel of the footsteps. So for example, when your character is walking around and all that, you'll actually get a good feel and all of that. Which I gotta say, it looks nice. So, um, anyways, let's choose a level, shall we? So, um, as you can see, this is the official PS5 version. So, um, I will say, at times, it does feel a bit weird. For example, as you can see, the frame rate of how it runs. I'm not sure if it's me or if the game is not really handling a stable 60 FPS. Because at times it does hit 60 FPS, but not very smooth. I know, so I can't tell, like, like, I'm not sure if the PS4 did run itself pretty well at 60 FPS. But this one definitely does, but it is kind of uncapped. So for, for some unknown reason, the game is like having frame rate all over the place. So, for example, if I'm looking here, you are seeing a bit of 60 FPS, but then if we move over here, it just drops under 60 FPS, it does. So, I'm not sure if, if the developers are going to, like, patch it, or if they're going to add something in the later update. Who knows, but um, so far, it is kind of interesting of how the frame rate is kind of dipping at times. And like I said about the haptic feedback from earlier, you can definitely feel your character's footsteps. And also, the glass particles, which I will show you, you can actually feel the glass particles on your controller as well, since it does support haptic feedback. And I did play a bit of it, um, what is it? Two days ago, I think, like, like a day or so when it came out, because it was actually announced from out of nowhere, from like the developers and that. Okay, to try and easy get over quickly. Okay, made it over. And also, um. This game doesn't support adaptive triggers, but it does support haptic feedback. So it does support one of the PS5 features, and that is um, the haptic feedback. But another PS5 feature that do is not supported for this version is adaptive triggers. Which I'm not surprised, considering the fact that I'm not sure how you can easily put adaptive triggers into this game. While haptic feedback you can for this one. Okay, let's go up. Okay, next one. Besides, I'm not sure for the, um, what is it, Xbox Series X, if this one is also supported for Xbox Series X. I'm not sure, but I do know that if you own the game on, say, PS4, you can definitely get the free upgrade of the PS5 version of Human Fall Flat, which is nice. 
Can I open the doors? And now we're inside this old house. And there's some glass particles. Let's smash it. And also, like I said about the haptic feedback, when you smash the glass, you can definitely feel the bit of rubble onto the controller. Like, you feel like it's actually coming down on the controller, it is a little here and there. Okay, and there goes another one. And. Break! The break! <laughs> Gotta say, this is actually pretty nice. And also, as you can see, I'm wearing the outfit of one of those, one of, if not my favorite YouTuber, Jacksepticeye. <laughs> Which, as you can see, I think it's the 2016 attire of Jack. Because I know back in 2016, he does have, like, say, green hair. Of, you know, of his hair in general back in 2016. But then I think... In about 2018, or if not 2017, or whatever, he actually just changed it back to the normal color of brown. He did. Okay, let's smash this. Smash it in! Smash! Okay, got it. All smashed. Okay, now we've got another wood smash. We've got to smash this one next. Okay. Smash this one in. Okay, smash it. Yes! Got it smashed. Off we go. Bring it on in. Okay, made it in. Pull the lever. Okay, got it. A cobble box. I was gonna say, who even needs a cobble box if you've got this level, this little lever to push it down? Like so. So really, you don't really need a cobble box. Like, you can easily put the lever down there. The switch that was easy broken off, and then you can easily get through there. Okay. Push this one down. Okay, that's one. Now we've got to push this one down. And we're through. Made it right on through. I know so I did check um earlier when it came to four guys on PS5. Not not four guys on PS5, I meant I meant when it came to Human Fall Flat on PS5, I did check like if the game supports crossplay or not. And unfortunately this game does not support crossplay. So meaning that if your friend is on PS4 playing this game on PS4 or saying if he's playing on PC or Xbox. This game does not support crossplay, unfortunately. Meaning that you're going to be stuck on, say, PS5 players. Which is kind of a shame, but... Then again, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. But then again, you do have, say... Um, Borderlands 3 recently, which does have crossplay, but it's not supported on, say, PlayStation platforms. Which I think it's kind of a disappointment on their end. Because I think they would really want crossplay on Borderlands 3 on PlayStation, but it's not happening. Instead, it's only happening on Xbox and PC platforms when it comes to Borderlands 3 for crossplay. Okay, up we go. Gotta keep climbing. Okay, push this over. It was at this moment he knew he messed up. Ah! Oh no! A piece of rubble! 
The wobble got me. Gotta smash this in. There, that was easy. Just to smash a little rock into it and that easy broken the whole wall. Okay, push this over. Here we go. Okay, last through. Oh, don't want to fall. Yes, got it. Got it right on in. Climb up. Okay, I need to push this one up somehow. Gotta go over here. Okay, gotta swing up. Okay, got myself up. I need to get that cobble box. That's up there. Why is my head stuck? It won't even move. Looks like he's about to break his neck from doing that. Stop. Okay, finally we made it in. Now smash the glass doors. Smash this one. Okay, there's one. Now to the doors. There. Couple more to smash. Smash it in. Yes, got it. Next one. Smash. I said smash. There. That's one. Now next. Yes! Okay. Smashed it all. Okay. Bring this up. Well, I think I need to bring this ball down, which I'm going to do. Okay, bring this big ball down. My god, this ball is so heavy. It's like this ball doesn't even want to get down. Get down with the buggy. Come on. Okay, got it. Finally, I got the ball down. Oh, oh. Okay. Now climb back up. And get the cardboard box over. Okay, got it in. Okay, got the two doors open, nice, got it. Okay, can I still reach it? No, but however I could easy swing, which I think most people have done it in Human Fall Fat, and that is swinging. Because you can swing up to just say, you know, for example, skip the level or skip the section, which you can. Which I will say it's kind of cheating, but then again, it is better than, say, going through the puzzle. So, for example, I could swing right over here and made it across the checkpoint without even doing the puzzle properly. Okay, that was kind of lagging. I have no idea why it kind of lagged for like about a second. I have no idea why. Oh, don't want to fall. Okay, 
Made it right up here. And now we're gonna bring it this down. Okay, bring it up. Push. Okay, got it. Now smash it. Okay, I got it. Switch. Okay, I got the switch. And smash. Yes. Made it right through to the exit. So, obviously you still have the levels as, you know, the same as PS4. It's basically still the same levels, and obviously you could still have, say, a two-player catch co-op, which is still a useful feature in the game. And it still has all of the dream levels, and then you still have the whole extra dream levels that have been added through updates. As you can see, they still have golf, terminal, factory, city, and forest. Which I think forest is just recently new, but I could definitely tell they're going to add more levels later on. And when I was mentioning earlier about um, crossplay, aka playing with other platforms, whether that be on PS4, Xbox One, Series X, or PC, or even Switch or phone. So, if we go to here, you can see there isn't that many players in this one. So, for example, you can only see one that is on 3 out of 8, which is Asatsuku Fallon. Asatsuku Fallon? Or Sukai Fallon, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. So, as you can see... There isn't that many players on here, which I think is because of the fact this game does not support crossplay at all. Which I think if this one actually supports crossplay, whether that be just on PlayStation platforms, not just say PS5 only players onto this one, or PS4 version onto PS4 users only on that one. But I feel like if it all came together and say PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Series X, PC, and phone, and also Switch, like if that all was crossplay, there wouldn't be like, say, for example, this being small on PS5. Because this version just came out about three or four days ago. And and I feel like Going forward, games should definitely support crossplay. Whether that be on Xbox, PlayStation or PC, or even Nintendo, they need to have crossplay support on I feel like nearly every single game. Because it definitely helps more people to get into a proper game more than say being limited onto one version that nearly some people like or just everyone likes. And I'm um, going to end it off with golf, which I feel like that is like the extra dream level I like, is golf. Because it brings me back to the good old days of golf, where everyone used to be out playing golf, but now the game of golf is just limited to just a couple. Because of stuff going on in the world at the moment. Okay, and come on, come on, and go. Ah, my God, I can't even hit the ball properly <laughs> with this old golf club. Get it in. Get it in there. Go on. Okay, that's in. Now on to the next course. Hit me up, golf club. Yeet. Oh wow! <laughs> I just fell down as soon as I got hit by the golf club. Wow! Go Yee. again.
That finally hit it on time, that did. That actually hit it itself on time. That was nice. But yeah, I will say, like, not only the um, haptic feedback it supports, but um, I think I'm not sure if it's me or if the resolution is kind of a lot more higher than the PS4 version, which I think it might be a native 4K. Because I did try and look, see if it is native 4K, but I think this one does support native 4K. Whether that be the game just being on capped and that. Okay, here goes the ball. Now bring it over. Okay, did it. Got the golf ball in. Open up the doors, golf. Open it up. Okay, here we go. Next one. Oh, close one. Okay, made it through. Okay, made it over here. Hit. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Gotta wait for the next one to hit. And... Go. Yes, got it in. Okay, here comes the golf club. Nearly eating me off that. Anyways, okay, so let's keep going. Oh wow, I've got to move this. got to move this one here, quick. Just to make a little path for me. Okay, stop. Okay, made it up. Okay, and we made it to another golf course. Nice. Because I can see there's three golf balls here. So there's like one, two, and three. So there's like three golf balls that I can hit. Or just ride along with this. Which I'm going to ride. Ride it down. Bang! Okay, we made it through. Okay, that's going through. Quick. Okay, look out. Okay, made it in. Made it to another checkpoint. Hit. Yes. Oh my god, that actually hit. Go, 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 go. Oh, so close. That was so close to hitting it. Come on. That was so close again. How? I was so close to hitting that. Okay, now it's there. Thank you. I was so close. Okay, in you go. Into the hole. Okay, get up. Get up the windmill. Gotta climb up. Ok, 
Okay. Now we're inside a bit of lava. Which I can definitely tell it's going to be hot once my character reaches into that little lava pit. But it won't be for long. Because now we're swimming over to another part where it's safe. Up. Okay, made it up. Nice one. And now we made it to the final part of the golf course. It's that now we need to be inside the golf balls. Which I'm going to head inside. And then roll down. Roll down my putties. Roll down. Roll down to the hole. Come on, get in there. Down you go. And that was it. That was it at the whole level. So, um, what do I think about the PS5 version of Human Fall Flat? Well, for what I would say, is that it is a great version. It is great, don't get me wrong. But the online version, as you can see here, which he's still there, which he now has one out of eight. And there's nobody in there other than him. I think they should add crossplay to this game. Because as you can see, there isn't that many players on here in the public games. I'm not sure about private, but then yet again, they could be more in private, but I feel like they should have added more. Like, I feel like they could have added crossplay, but then again, that will probably be a lot more time for the developers for this game to do. But I feel like that would have been a nice feature for them to add for all platforms for this game. Anyways, gonna end the video right here. So um be sure to give it a like, subscribe, be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter, it'd be really appreciated. And I will see you later. Bye. See ya. See you later.